of the are some people that is gonna recognize our honorees. Melanie Scrooge, could you step over here, please? Thank you very much. Good evening, I'm Melanie Scruggs, and I'm uh, the recording secretary for Houston Peace and Justice Center, and thank you all so much for being here this evening. I had the honor of presenting Jackie Young with a local Peacemaker Awards award this evening. Um, Jackie Young is the director of the San Jacinto River Coalition, and she is the founder of a brand new environmental organization called the Texas Envir Health and Environment Alliance, THEA. Uh, this is a very good thing. <laughs> Having more environmental organizations in Houston with professional full-time staff is a very good thing. Uh, her current project is cleaning up the San Jacinto River waste pits. If you haven't heard of the San Jacinto River waste pits, this is a toxic site located in the San Jacinto River, uh, right where it crosses I-10. Uh, this is a U.S. Superfund site. It's one of the most toxic sites in the entire country, and it is leaking dioxins into the San Jacinto River. Um, this is an area, uh, it's a very diverse community. Uh, many people depend on fishing in the San Jacinto River to supplement uh, their diet. They, they have, can't afford to uh, purchase more food. Um, and Jackie Young has been organizing in these communities uh, for many years to get the EPA to require the responsible companies to clean up this site. Um, and what is so inspiring about Jackie Young is that she grew up in Highlands, just north of Baytown. Um, she and her family have been directly impacted by the pollution in the San Jacinto River and the surrounding area. And she is organizing people like herself who are directly impacted by the pollution, especially from this toxic Superfund site and the organization that she's founding is going to continue to work on cleaning up um, toxic waste sites in the Houston region. Um, Jackie is a wonderful friend and an inspiring activist. Um, she studied uh, environmental uh, geology and uh, is a, a really brilliant activist and a true asset to our environmental community. Um, so it's wonderful to work with her. And so uh, tonight, uh, we are awarding Jackie for leadership in overcoming suffering, for commitment to ensuring that others, including our animal friends, do not suffer, for forward movement step by step to create a more vibrant and healthy ecosystem, and for the deep love for humanity that it takes to spread your talents for the good of all. What an incredible honor, and I'm, I can't wait to get this to the office and hang this on the wall. Um, thank you to Houston Peace and Justice, to the Houston Peace and Justice Center for recognizing um, my hard work, but also the hard work of our communities and all of those who have taken part in this to date. Um, I like to think of myself as an environmental activist by accident. Um, when I was in college, uh, I wanted to actually travel to third world countries to help develop their water systems. When we found out that my parents' dream home was surrounded by four Superfund sites or four toxic waste sites, my parents said, charity starts at home. <laughs> our community and our volunteers have continued pushing forward over the past five years, and it's incredible to look back and see how we've impacted the Superfund process and how we've moved a disengaged community to one that is united and educated on local environmental issues. 
When te Texas Department of State Health Services continued to deny us a health study of our communities, we continued to push forward. And finally, they gave in and did a database study of, our, of the surrounding area. And they found increased incidences of rare cancers near the waste pits. When I found out there was a community advisory committee for the waste pits, and the only people invited to the meetings were government entities and um, the responsible parties, I organized our community members to show up peacefully and ask to be allowed into the community advisory committee meeting. We were removed from the property by the police. A few months later, I was invited to be a part of that committee and to sit, to sit in the meetings to re represent the community's voice and also bring back information to our community members. When the waste pits responsible parties began strongly advocating for the cheapest and worst possible solution for the pits, we worked with a local geologist to study similar Superfund sites across the country. The study found that the EPA required removal of the highest concentrations of waste at all, all of the similar Superfund sites. It became clearer than ever why those footing the bill were advocating for the cheapest and worst possible solution. We've continued laying the groundwork and making it clear that our communities want the waste removed from the river and we want it taken to a safe and stable location. <clears throat> This past September, the EPA proposed to do just that. Yeah. It was one of the greatest surprises I've ever received. I received a call at 7 a.m. and said, we're proposing it today. Get ready. And we started moving, and by about 11 a.m., it came through that they were proposing almost exactly what we had been asking for. Um, we're currently now in the public comment period of the Superfund process, and we ha actually have a table just outside in the lobby to the left, and I ask that you all stop by our table, sign our petition, and pick up a card with information on it on how you can submit a comment to the EPA supporting full removal of this site. Just as our communities have seen their voices impact this process, I'm asking you too to allow your voice to be heard. We have our work cut out for us with the San Jacinto River Waste Pits still, but they are not the only Superfund site in Harris County. Additionally, Harris County had far more groundwater cases than any other county in the state of Texas last year, upwards of 400 more cases. In order to build a capacity and to continue to do the type of work that we do, I founded Texas Health and Environment Alliance, or THEA. In early 2017, we expect to have the record of the decision from the EPA for the waste pits. And we also expect to expand our capacity to take on additional waste sites. The work that I do cannot be done alone, so I have to thank my family, specifically my mother, who has always been by my side and for more times than I'd like to recall in recent years, been there caring for me when I could not care for myself. Um, I have to thank my amazing mentors and volunteers who helped me juggle the multitude of hats. Um, Texans together for first giving me this platform to do what I do. And um, our ally organizations and our community members for trusting me and allowing me to be their environmental advocate and leader. As Lois Gibbs says, the average person in the average community can change the world. You can do it just based on common sense, determination, persistence, and patience. Thank you. Thank you, Jackie, for all that hard work, and especially to her family for allowing her to do what she likes. And I was asking at the beginning if there were any elected officials, and nobody answered. <laughs> but I'm seeing the, that there are, in the future, elected officials that we must have. Thank you.